back to the channel everybody. Today, for the NES Classic Reviews, we are reviewing the original Mario Brothers game. And this game came out in 1983, and uh, it's like the second or third game to feature Mario. The first one, I think, was the original Donkey Kong, and then Donkey Kong 2. And then he was in uh, Punch-Out!, and then he was in this one before he was in any of the legendary Super Mario Brothers, so let's just check this game out. Power button turns everybody upside down. This is also a mini game on Super Mario Brothers 3. You can challenge Luigi and you do this. Ooh. It's not Super Mario Brothers. I can't jump on him. Not a hundred percent sure what I'm doing. Well, that was the original Mario. That was the introduction. Now we're bringing you to Super Mario Brothers. And this is the very first game I ever played on the Nintendo. And this game is freaking awesome. That soundtrack, awesome. Pretty much everything about this game is awesome. And I'm no expert at the game, but I can hold my own. Yeah, this is actually the very first... Ooh. Shoot, I missed it. Damn it. This is the very first uh, actual like video game I played besides uh, old Atari stuff. I grew up on Atari. So this is pretty advanced compared to the stuff Atari was, was slinging. But uh, yeah, this was one of the very first games I played on it. This and Kung Fu. I got this Duck Hunt and Kung Fu for Christmas. Ah, oh, you son of a bitch. But yeah, this, the original Super Mario Brothers, this game is just awesome. You can't beat this. This is... If you only ever get to play one game in your life, it should probably be the original Super Mario Brothers. Or Super Mario 3. Super Mario 3 is pretty damn good, too. So, moving on. Next up, we've got Super Mario Brothers 2. And this game in Japan is called something different. And the real Super Mario Brothers 2 is in America called Super Mario Brothers The Lost Levels and it looks just like Super Mario Brothers. This game looks completely different and feels like a different game because it is a different game. And they try to make it like uh, this is in, all in Mario's dream. This is a dream world. But actually they just replaced Mario with the other avatar of the actual whatever's in the game. Yeah, they just made them Mario characters instead of the original Japanese characters they were supposed to be. But yeah, other than that, none of this makes sense. None of this is is what Mario was doing in the early games. But I guess Mario's dreaming and he's having a weird, crazy dream. Oh, and look, there's a pal thing from from the original Mario. I guess I can't get it when I'm small. Ah. I've always hated Super Mario Brothers 2, so we're just going to skip to the best one of all. Everybody loves this opening screen. Super Mario Brothers 3. But, um... So let's just jump into it, because this is probably, in a lot of people's opinions, the greatest 
NES game out there, so it definitely deserves to be on here. And in a lot of people's heads, this is a uh, Nintendo at its best. Damn it! I need to quit talking and focus on my gameplay. But this is a uh, yeah. In a lot of people's opinions, this is the best Nintendo game out there out of all the over 500 games. They say this is number one. And I'd have to, I don't necessarily agree, there's a lot, and they've all got their unique things that make them cool. Definitely a fun one. And I'm not a very good Mario player on any of the Mario games. See? the So this is Mario Games Part 1, and uh, tune in next time for NES, we'll review other Mario games, and that would be the uh, Mario RPG, and uh, Mario Kart, and uh, all the other games that Mario shows up in, so thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you later.